The desk is also on storm watch this afternoon. The rain causing problems on the roads. Well, Simon editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. So, uh, Mike, what are we talking about with closures right now? Yeah, there are a couple. Uh, nothing too major at this point, but there are some rain-related issues we want to talk to you about. Of course, Mulholland is still closed from the last storm. They still haven't been able to clean that up, and there are some other closures out there as well. But I want to show you what is uh, more likely to you to run into here is potholes. Look at this. This is at the 101 right here in Studio City on the northbound side of the 101, right at Laurel Canyon. And this is very frequent on our roadways. When the water starts rushing, it really creates problems and, and digs out parts of the road. Look how, uh, how much these cars are bouncing around there as they try to get onto the freeway. Now, the good news is this isn't a place where you're already going kind of slow as you work to get on the freeway there. But if you're going any faster than that, there's a very good chance you get a flat tire going through that. So it's very important to be careful in driving through those areas. I want to take you to another problem spot that is now only getting worse. This is the 405 right there at kind of the Getty Center area where that uh, off ramp has been closed because of a sinkhole that opened up. Today is not getting any better. You can see some video from Sky Cal shows the uh, uh, flood protection there that they're trying to do. So we'll have to keep an eye on both of those. You know, there was some uh, word about Topanga Canyon being closed earlier today. It appears that is back open right now. But those canyon roads, as this rain comes in, are going to be very tough. Those are the first things that close because they're so susceptible to rocks and debris that come down on the sides of them, guys. All right, Mike, thanks. And we will have continuing team coverage on our latest storm throughout the evening right here at KKL News. You can also go to KKLNews.com and check out our interactive radars and then up to the minute forecast.